Hi, welcome back. Um, this is episode 21. If you watched episode 20, you would have seen me splitting the body from the chassis of the Mexi Beetle. Um, I'm going to carry on with that in this episode, but I forgot to film an intro for it. So here I am sat in, <laughs> sat in the 63 in my garage, um, filming an intro for this. Uh, so right, let's get into it. So we've, we've got it now where the body is off the car and the next step is to to look at what needs doing to the floor pan. Uh, so first job is to take the pedals out. Oh, forgot to mention, I forgot to film removing the floor pan half from the chassis. So you'll have to use your imagination for that part. It's there at the beginning and it's gone at the end. Um, I just cut it out. There's videos online to show you how to do that anyway. So uh, it, it's not a particularly difficult job. It's just very noisy, very dirty and I didn't film it. cleaned up now you can start to see some of the holes that are appearing there's a, a big one there there's a slightly smaller one there just in there another one there and another one there great the right way to do it or not, but it's the way that works. But it's the way it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, it's the way I'm doing it.
Okay, you've got the floor panel up on its side now in a way that is definitely not sketchy and is entirely safe. Uh, I've got the engine crane there and a ratchet strap holding it up. But it's sat on its wheels anyway, so it should be fairly secure. And it's not like it's going to fall on me. Um, this is the frame head bottom plate. Looking at it now, you can see it's quite rusty there. It's quite rusty there. Um, it's messy there. Got some holes in it. Uh, it's not good all over. I have got a replacement panel for this, so the first thing to do is clean all this off with a wire brush and the grinder, get back to bright metal, see what I'm dealing with. Got a fair bit of the crappy old under seal off now, revealed some of the spot welds. It looks like there's a bead of weld there to cut off and also previous repairs that are um, of the same standard as the rest of the repairs that have been carried out on this car, let's put it that way. So I think drill out those spot welds there, cut that bead of weld off there. Not sure what happens at the front here, I might have to wing it a little bit. Um, I imagine there's spot welds along there as well. Yeah, perhaps I need to clean that off too. Do that first. And an hour or so later, this is all I've managed to get done. Uh, I'm sure I must be doing it wrong because this thing is putting up a hell of a fight. Uh, I've managed to get that side cut off there, part way down into the tunnel. Got the spot welds marked and, and centre punched but not actually drilled yet. Uh, but it's just putting up a fight. I will get there. After a lot of cutting and grinding and messing about, I've managed to get the bottom plate off the frame head now. Uh, I didn't film much of it because it was all just, well, grinding and cutting. Um, but here we are. It's off now. The Napoleon's hat is not in brilliant condition. I think I'll probably replace that, especially this side. You can see the end there is all, all rotten. Inside, not too bad. Uh, the grey stuff is the factory coating but next job is to get the beam off and just see what sort of state it is there I think that's all just surface rust but there are a couple of holes like one there and one there uh, they can be patched though but the concern now is what's happening behind the beam here this is where the beam mounts on zoom out a little bit um, and it's got all mud and, and road debris and stuff trapped under there so I think that's going to need patching but in order to do that, I need to get it back on its wheels uh, and get the beam off. But let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see a bit better. That's better, you can see now. So, uh, yeah, got it on its side, got the, the two wheels off at the top there, uh, just to get access to the frame head. I need to put the wheels back on now, flop it back onto its wheels so that I can put it on the trailer. Now, the reason it needs to go on the trailer is so that I can then take the beam off and still have it mobile because I can obviously move the trailer around. If it was sat on the floor with uh, with no ability to move it or wheel it around, that's a problem because I need to get the trailer in overnight and also need to use the lift to work on Mark's car. So, uh, so yeah, wheels back on, back on the trailer. Right, it's now on the trailer uh, with the beam removed and we can have a look at it. This is before I've done anything other than just take the beam off. Uh, there's already a hole down there, you can see. Um, I'm going to clean the frame head up now with the wire brush there. Clean the frame head, clean this front part and then decide where to go from there I think. With every project there is a point when it's just not worth carrying on. Uh, it's financially or effort wise or whether it's just completely beyond your abilities or whatever. And for me, that point is when the frame head needs replacing on the car. Particularly now, because everyone's in lockdown, I can't get somebody else to weld it on. I just don't have enough faith in my welding skills for something that is so structurally important. Uh, the frame head is this sort of big triangular section here, and it fastens on around here somewhere, and you weld the whole thing on. It's crucial that it's lined up and it's crucial that it's welded uh, properly and safely because it holds the front suspension to the car. So, 
had that needed replacing, then I think that might have been the end of the line for this project, certainly for me. Um, but happily, I've taken the beam off, and it's, it's quite pitted, but there's only one hole in it down there on the non-structural part of it. This part here where the beam bolts on on both sides, that's the important structural part. This is almost just sort of a closing piece, really. just fills the gap. So I think I can patch that, and then that'll be okay then. It doesn't need a new frame head. The rest of it uh, will clean up. Started cleaning it there already. It's coming up quite nicely. Clean it all up. It does need a Napoleon's hat. This is that piece there. So I'll have to get one of those ordered. Not sure if I'm going to replace the whole thing or just the ends, because it's just the ends that are rusty. Um, that one there is particularly a bad look. Uh, but either way, need the panel, get one ordered, and uh, decide from there. Now, as it is at the moment, this floor panel on this side is still the original. So I'm going to leave that in place for the time being and use it as a reference point for measurements for this Napoleon's hat. Same on this side. I can measure back, that's the original cross member, back to the original Naps hat and uh, make sure the new one goes in in the correct place um, and then I'll put the floors in then. So I've got some more cutting and welding to do but I'm going to call it a day for now and I uh, might be back on it tomorrow. It's cleaned up enough now that I can see what I'm dealing with and we've got a couple of holes there, these ones here on there there's a hole there and there's also a couple of holes on that side one there and one at the front the camera on there you can see it just there so i'll get those patched and then show you when it's done so that's the holes patched up now uh, that front one just needs smoothing down a little bit done the other side as well um, my Napoleon's hat has arrived in the box there, which is this piece. Don't need it all, so I need to work out how much I'm going to retain of the original and uh, how much of the new one I need. Certainly, this end needs to be replaced. Um, don't know about the rest of it yet. I'll have to sort of weigh that up and uh, decide what to do. With the brake line removed, there's a, a hard line that runs front to back along the tunnel there. With that removed, I can now chop the front of the floor away. Not much, just, you know, a few inches. Enough that I can see how much of the Napoleon's hat I need to, to change. Because uh, obviously with the floor on it, I can't tell what state it's in. So it turns out that the Napoleon's hat isn't that bad really. Obviously this end is rotten here and it's a bit kind of messy here and here so I've made a little temporary brace to the holes that line up there put the bolt through there and then it's nice and straight it's tacked on under there so it's nice and solid and I'm going to cut on this red line here and then cut the new piece in the same place match it up weld it together So we've got the new section of Napoleon's hat here now, bolted down to the same uh, jig as before, so it's exactly the same place. Had to put a little slit in it just there to get the top sit nice and flush. This will need just hammering flat when it's welded in. The other side is spot on, it's nice and smooth. So uh, yeah, weld it in. And there it is welded in. You can see that I've also filled in the holes where the master cylinder used to be when this car was left on drive. A couple of small repairs to do on, on these little lips. This is the first one. It's made a little patch there. So I'll sit that in, weld it in. That's the next one. This one's a little bit worse. I'll have to clean that up. Might even need to go back into that part. Depends how it cleans up. Uh, but get this one in first and then look at that one next fast forward a bit and it's all now cleaned up pre-drilled ready for plug welding and painted with uh, weld through copper primer 
same with the actual plate itself there so let the paint dry next and then uh, get it welded in I did take a bit of time clamping it in place beforehand and making sure it fitted properly so it's ready to weld now uh, now to the back of the floor pan uh, this part of the outrigger at the end here was rotten so I've cut that off leaving behind the reinforcement underneath it now this end of it is a little bit weak so I'm going to cut that off and just cut it sort of there this is dead solid so that'll be fine I'll weld it down to that uh, and that should be okay now I've got the replacement outriggers here these actually came separate to the floor pans which is handy because I only need whatever that much of it so I'm going to clean that up first and then trim this down to size and weld it on right after a lot of trimming and, and making it fit properly I've got this end piece now which is the end of the outrigger there that sits in there like that the floor pan all lines up nicely and so the next job now is to drill a couple of holes in the top of this piece plug weld it through make sure it's in the right place and then I can seam weld all around there if I take the floor pan half out for a second so that goes on there like so and I'll seam weld all around there and I'll support the edge of the pan when it all goes back together right it's all lined up now clamped into place so this is the final position for this uh, it's nicely lined up got some holes drilled in there ready for plug welding so I'm going to plug weld those two first then the floor can come off and uh, I can finish welding that drill some holes around the edge of the floor plan plug that in there you go right there we go is to drill some holes around the edge of the floor pan so that I can plug weld it down where the old uh, spot welds were there's loads of them every inch or so every 25 mil so that's what I'm going to replicate with the plug welds with the lockdown and the coronavirus it's proving quite difficult to get down here to do any work on the car so um, I wanted to just sort of bring you up to date, show you where I'm up to because uh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do the next video. So here we are, this is the state of the car at the moment. We've got the bottom plate more or less welded on, uh, it just needs a bit of finishing off. Got that floor pan trimmed to size and drilled all around the edges. You know, if you can see those, there we are, drilled around the edges. It's clamped in place but not welded in at all yet. That rear outrigger is done. This part of the Napoleon's hat is done. And that's it. Um, 
you're supposed to be staying at home during this lockdown and obviously the car is not at home so uh, I'm going to try and work something else out probably going to take the engine which is currently sat on the bench there take that to my garage at home and work on that um, but I don't know if that's going to work out or not it's just a, an idea at the moment so uh, yeah just wanted to bring you up to date this is going to be the end of this video now um, we'll return to this car as soon as you can thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that and uh, there'll be more videos as soon as possible Thanks again.